Some slides in this presentation will have narration, like I'm talking to you right now, and others may not. But you need to know each time you wish to advance, all you have to do is click on the slide and it will move on to the next one. When Elizabeth Tudor became Queen of England, her focus was on making money. She sent out pirates to rob the Spanish, and the English began the process of colonizing the New World. From that moment on, England would be focused on making money. Money is the issue. England's lesser nobility live in the countryside, and they live off their land. But what happens? What happens when their income from the land starts going down, especially when the amount they can earn becomes less and less than others are earning in trade? They're suddenly becoming poor and they have to do something about it. The first group of industrial machines developed during the Industrial Revolution were for making cloth. In other words, machines in the textile industry. And it's in the textile industry that the Industrial Revolution begins in Britain. And it moves from there into another area. Iron. Textiles and iron start the Industrial Revolution. Take a moment and look at the drawing on this screen. This is a drawing of what a water-powered mill would have looked like. A mill to develop, to make cloth. Notice that it's three stories high, which was typical for the time, and that all the power is coming in through the water wheel. And the work is going from the bottom to the top of this factory. Look at everything and get an idea of what's going on before you click and continue. Unlike the mill we saw before, this mill is being run by steam. Steam engines are providing the power that runs every one of the machines, and that makes a dramatic difference because steam engines can be taken and put anywhere. So now, with the steam engine, you can locate your factory anywhere you want to, not just beside a stream or a mill somewhere out in the country. Little boys were used to do the actual digging of coal. That's because coal shafts tended to be very, very small, and only little tiny boys could go in there. So they would go in there with their picks and shovels and chip out the coal, put it into little carts that were on wheels, and then they would be hooked up like a donkey to it, and they would crawl on all four up the shaft and bring it out. This is what children did. This is child labor, and it started big time during the start of the Industrial Revolution. Britain expands on its excellent system of rivers by building canals. Canals are essentially artificial rivers. Of course, they don't flow. 
So the traffic can move both up and down the river with ease because it's put on barges that are pulled by mules that walk along the edge of the canal. Once again, the steam engine to the rescue. Just like the steam engine made it possible for a factory to be located anywhere, the steam engine as a train made it possible for the factory to have goods come to it and go from it to anywhere. And the British soon abandoned canals and they begin building railways. And they build railways like crazy.